Hi everyone, Vacha here for RecordingStudio9.com and thanks for joining again. I have done several videos on Cakewalk Music Creator 7 in the past, but I haven't really followed up much with new videos about it. And I did have several comments and emails to do another follow-up video on Cakewalk Music Creator 7. So in this video I'm going to go through and demonstrate a quick audio editing tools that we can use to create our new song. Now to make things easy to understand, what I'm going to do is just going to create a backing track, just drag it in and then record my vocals and I'm going to show you how to edit the vocal bits so we can learn all the different options available in editing audio. Okay, to make things simple, what I'm going to do is drag a backing track and these libraries are available when you install Music Creator 7. Just going to click on Expand you can find them under Media and Audio Library and Backing Tracks, double click and there we go. Just going to try this one, Rock Ballad. Yep, that's the one I want to choose. Just drag it across and now I've got four bars of it. See, when you put your mouse right across that area there and you see your magnifying glass with a down arrow, if you left click and hold it down, if you move your mouse up, it zooms out, and if you mouse down, it zooms in. So I'm just going to zoom out a bit until I get enough bars length. I can actually minimize this now to get more space. I'm going to put my mouse right on the edge. See that symbol that comes up? Saying I can now drag and expand the loop. 12 bars, yeah that should be enough. So now I've got 12 bars. Let's um, zoom back in so we've got more space. If I move my mouse right in the corner there you can see that the triangle, that means fading. I can left click and drag that to about there to be faded. I might actually give this a little bit more Maybe one more bar of fade. Okay. And maybe fade in as well. Same principle. So let's have a quick listen to what it sounds like now. Okay, so we've got some background music playing and we can sing into this. Let's create a loop so we can record multiple takes. Just going to click on the loop and that drag that yellow line all the way to end of bar 13. Let's name this music. Now let's add a new track. Right click, new audio track. And we're going to call this vocals. Vocal. We have the track, but we have not assigned where this audio is going to come from. We can do that by expanding our mixer, our console. You can see this is our track, it says vocal there, and that's our master track that's going out. And we can select our input right here. I'm going to select my Yamaha and maybe the left. Only we need mono for my vocals, we don't need stereo unless we're recording stereo. And now we should be able to click on the input echo. And now we are able to hear. And that Phasing effect is just the latency because we you are hearing the original sound from the microphone as well as the sound playing back 
from Music Creator 7. So if you have direct monitoring on your audio interface, that's what you enable. Otherwise, you um, and you, you can turn this off, like you're hearing exactly right now. But if you don't have direct monitoring, then you can enable this and you should still be able to sing without a problem because you normally won't hear the original sound. So I'm just going to turn that off. Arm for recording and adjust my levels. Looks like my levels is about minus nine. I might reduce that down a little bit because I'm going to sing to it. So I might get a little bit louder. So it's all good now and ready to record. But before we hit the record button, there's another few options that we can actually do with the record. Right click on the record and we get recording mode. What you normally want to do is comping mode for recording. That way when you record multiple takes, each time that you record it will do another new take. And then you'll be able to do comping. That means you'll be able to choose from multiple takes the sections that you like and put them into the master track. You know what I mean as soon as I actually do that, which I'm going to do. Overwrite means you actually overwrite every time. It's not a really good option if you, unless you really don't like to keep anything that you record. Or sound on sound, it means you're actually recording whatever was there on top of what you're recording again. And you really want to store text in a single track rather than expanding into multi-tracks. Sometimes expanding into multi-tracks might work because every time you might play or record different parts, let's say if you want to sing the whole song, but you want to be able to put the choruses into different tracks, then you sing the verses and as it loops back, you listen to your verses and you start recording the choruses and the choruses will go into another track. So that's another option for store takes into separate tracks. But I'm going to leave exactly as they are. I hope that explains it. So now we are ready to record. So I'm going to come up with some words for this song and see what I can do. Um, mm. Let's give it a try anyway. Let's hit the record button. Roses are red Sky truly blue You live in my heart and if you only knew warm in my arms close to my heart and i will always forever yours do, 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 do. roses are red sky Truly blue, you live in my heart. And if you only knew, warm in my arms, close to my heart, and I will always forever yours. Okay, so we've done two takes. And to find out the different takes, we click the takes lane, and we can see... Takes one, two, three, take lane. We don't need it because I didn't want to record it. We can delete the take lane and we are done. So now we have the song played three times. I'm just going to give myself more room there. So what we hear seeing at the top is the last take. And this is the first take that we had. So if you want to listen to them separately, what we need to do is we can click solo for the take one. Just click there. so we can hear my vocals. So there we go. So we can 
solo out each of the takes and we can listen to which one um, we want. Roses are red. Or Roses are red. Sky truly blue. Roses are red. Sky truly blue. Now, what if we want to... I like the, let's say, the second take, but I like the take that I've done the first time in the first take. We can do comping. We can come up here and we can select, right click and select comping. And now we'll be able to do this. So let's have a listen. Oops, get that out of the solo. Roses are red. Or. Ah. Roses are red. Sky truly blue. You live in my heart. And if you only knew. Or I think I prefer probably this one. Roses are red, sky truly blue. You live in my heart, and if you only knew, warm in my arms, close to my heart. And I will always, forever yours. Okay, so as you can see, I was able to select different parts from different takes. That's called comping. Let's have a look at a few other options, like in the edit mode. We can, this is the normal edit. That means we are able to... Trim it, fade it, and so on. Or we can do into split. Let's say if you want to split this into two. Scissors, splits, of course. Now timing is another option where it allows you to not trim it, but actually change the timing of it. So let's have a listen to You live in my heart So it makes it really faster So you can put things in You live in my heart So that's what the, all of the options in editing would do Normally you would want to have it uh, under edit So you can trim it and fade it Next, let's organize some of my vocal to sound a little bit better um, we don't need this part. Okay. Roses are red. Now, why don't we add some mix strip? It's included inside Music Creator 7 already. I'm just going to cut off some of the lower end. So the muddiness out. Roses are red. Sky. Truly blue, you live in my heart, and if you only knew, warm in my arms, close to my heart, and I will always forever yours. Add some do 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 do. Roses are red Compression Sky truly blue You live in my heart And if you only knew Warm in my arms And let's add some space Which is reverb Roses are red Sky truly blue you live 
in my heart and if you only knew let's put eq after compression you can drag it and put it right there roses are red sky truly blue you live in my heart and if you only knew warm in my arms close to my heart and i will always forever Okay, so there you go. Um, I hope this was helpful. Now you learn how to record, edit, trim, cut, comp, and combine, and make sure that you have a good take in your recording of your whatever you want to record. If this was helpful, please uh, give me the thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe. And as always, thanks for watching. Hope you have a great time making more music. Till next time, cheerio. Roses are red, sky truly blue. You live in my heart. And if you only knew, warm in my arms, close to my heart. And I will always. Forever Will always forever yours.